of the track questions most of the time the questions will not reflect the relevance of what we are doing that shows unprepared mind mind is very important even to question even to put the right question we have to train the mind <coughs> most of the time what happens we will not be prepared or we don't put any sincere effort in pursuing the question one interesting dimension is if a question is really 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 burning in you then the very tapas will get you the answer but most of the time our questions are casual not relevant many times you know we we, we feel it is very relevant which is not so that's why our answer our questions most of the time are not attended seriously because the question is not serious question is from the word quest if i am really into that then the very quest will take me to the question and in the very question there is answer i don't know whether you people are seeing this point or is it too big a philosophical claim hmm? i i have been experiencing it if the question is a sincere if you are pursuing the quest the answer will come from the nature in a very very surprising unconventional and with small things you get the answer small things you get the answer so what i feel strongly is this is what i have been experiencing you have to develop a mind with the stays with the question for some time have i started something abruptly or what <laughs> hmm? is it too difficult to feel it hmm? either you say yes or no hmm? because of day to day activities day to day compelling uh, obligations and compulsions 
the question will not shine in the psyche. Question has to shine in the psyche. And the entire <coughs> personality should resonate with the question. Don't try to seek an answer to the question, but is it possible for us to stay with the question? To stay with the question, we need enormous energy. Staying with anything, you need enormous energy. We are not able to get the answer because there is so much impatience in, in every mind. Mind does not want to look into the question, but mind wants an answer, a solution. And most of our solutions are not directly related with the question we have. So meditation is a process more than the sadhana, the practice. It is the preparation to sadhana that's very important. It's the preparation. With what emotion we prepare ourselves is very, very important. When I was admitted to Ames, my Gurudev gave me a message. Bete, there is process and there is you. You are not the process. Process is going on whether you like it or not, whether you want it or not, whether you are interested in it or not, whether you have Guru's grace or not, the nature has to work through you. And in all of us, this nature is working. Nature is constantly working. Along with the nature, there is an eternal entity that is also accompanying this nature. So what is meditation? Meditation is a process where we learn to stay with the process without opposing, without complaining, without resisting it. The whole world is teaching us to resist, to fight, to complain, right? Is it not? You go to anybody with a question, they first they teach you how to fight, how to confront, right? Then they train you how to confront. When you start confronting, the negative emotions will start dominating your personality. Maybe depression or the frustration. Since two and a half years I have been doing this sadhana. Not resisting, not complaining, but accepting everything as it is coming to me. So I go with the confidence to a doctor or to somebody to find the solution. First 15 days, okay. Then I come back with great confusion. <laughs> and every minute I am going through this process. I have tried all methods. But while trying, my inner mind is telling that why don't you learn to accept it? Why don't you learn to stay with it? If I learn to stay with it, then automatically the negative reaction disappears. Most of the time this anxiety is killing us. Most of the time. 
the anxiety. Because we have grown up in a very, very unnatural way, artificial way. That's why we have lost the beauty, the grace and the joy of natural way of living. Ask yourself how the mind is constantly fighting, resisting, competing, right? It wants gratification, it wants a sort of fulfillment, it wants to prove At least, we as meditators, spiritual seekers, is it possible for us to stay at least during the day, half an hour, one hour? Let me stay in that state. 23 hours, you fight, you resist, you, you go through depression, frustrations, you know, put effort. Do, do all such circus, but at least for some time in a day, is it possible for me to remain as a innocent child with curiosity? 